warnings many warnings about event match quality chances are that you recently see all these warnings inside your events manager account uh, that's because meta released uh, globally something that was available for quite a long time for some accounts i'm talking about this event match quality score sometimes it's a number sometimes um, just an adjective like great or poor or um, okay uh, some accounts has have numbers instead of um, great and so on uh, what does it mean it means that meta conversion api events uh, um, can be matched to a meta user and to do so meta needs all sorts of information uh, they need something called fbp they need something called fbc these are based on cookies and uh, there are some numbers and letters ids associated with users uh, they want you to send um, the first name and the last name of a user the phone number the email address uh, facebook login ip address um, all sorts of things sometimes it's possible to send them sometimes it's not possible to send them and i will explain when it's possible and uh, when it's not in order to send all this data that meta wants about the website visitors you need to have this information first so if a user comes to your website out of nowhere from google for example they browse a few pages they don't nothing else on the website you have no idea was the name of that user was the email address was the phone number no idea but if the users buy something from your website now you have some more information about them because when they buy something they share a lot of personal data with you so if you have their consent to use the personal information and send it to meta you can do so and meta will be able to associate the user with uh, your user with their user and uh, you have a great event match quality score now if you use pixel your site by the way i'm christian stoichescu from pixel your site that's why i'm talking about pixel your site we try to do this anytime is possible however um, we have all sorts of events fired on a website page view for example is fired on every single page visited by any user that you have uh, time on page it's also fired if a user spends a particular amount of time on your website so most users will have this time on page event view content is fired on single product pages so a lot of users will visit uh, woocommerce product pages and will fire this event that's why these type of events will have usually might have a lower um, emq score because everybody fires those events purchase add to cart initiate checkout these events will be fired by a small number of users and we will be able to send more data for these type of users so usually what you are going to see it's lower score for events fired by everybody and a better score for events fired by people that purchase something people that send a form um, completed a form and submitted a form on your website people that share actual personal information personal information with you and we have access to that information so um, if you see a lot of warnings most of them are false positives they're just very general recommendation sometimes it's not possible to have all this data that facebook meta would like you to send and if you use pixel site we send it when it's possible um, another warning that you might see it's about the ip format they say something like 
you're sending IPv4, you should send IPv6. Well, the idea is that we always try to detect the IPv6 format, but sometimes the user's device doesn't share such a format. Sometimes the server of your website doesn't accept such a format. So in these cases, we uh, receive the IPv4 format and send that instead. Uh, the idea is that it's best to send an IP instead of not sending an IP. So every time it's possible to send IPv6 uh, format IP, we do it. Again, we do our best to detect the most and uh, high quality data as possible. Sometimes it's not possible. Um, there is nothing you can do except maybe uh, encourage users to log in to your website to create accounts and log in because uh, that's when we have access to their email addresses and we can uh, send email addresses with um, conversion API events. Uh, maybe encourage them to complete some form and send their personal um, data. Again, if you have their permission, we can share that information with them and, and so on. But most of those warnings are false positives. Another important thing, there is something called external ID. We send an external ID every time we send our events. This external ID is associated with the user, is based on cookies, so it doesn't work perfectly. Um, it works if the same user fires events from the same device and the same browser. If they change the device, if they change the browser, or if they delete cookies, we will not have um, a consistent external ID. However, when we have it, it means that Meta has additional information knowing that a set of events is related to the same user. So if they have very little data for a number of events, but all these events share an external ID, and then suddenly they get data from a user that purchased something on your website that shares the same external ID. They can associate all these events with the user. So in this case, uh, matching will work for previous events that didn't have enough data. And of course, for future events, if the same user comes on your website, we are able to detect the external ID and send it. And Meta will be able to say, okay, I don't have the phone number, the email address, everything else from um, this user, but I have the same external ID. It means that it's the same guy that I know about and I can uh, associate with one of our accounts. So uh, external IDs are sent by Pixelio site automatically and they can improve uh, EMQ and matching in general. So another warnings um, can be visible about FBP, which is the browser click ID, browser ID. Basically, it's an ID associated with a browser. We try to have this one every time. And FBC, which is associated with ads. This one, it's there only if the visitor comes from an ad, a meta ad. So it's not there for all your traffic. And um, uh, it's not always there because of privacy reasons. Some bro uh, browsers simply block them, so they are not accessible all the time. So you will not be able to see FBC with all your events because it's not possible to have it. Those are the most common warnings. I wanted to make this video because I, I have a lot of messages asking about these warnings. I don't have them with any of my accounts. We do our best to track as much data as possible and um, usually we do a very good job. I'm Christian Stoichesco from Pixel Your Site. Thank you for watching this video.